my own Almost glad to be alone Until love came in On time oh, On time Hello moon babies, welcome back to my channel And thank you so much for being here today If you're new to my channel, welcome Today I'm going to be talking about Aligning with your higher self Or reconnecting with your higher self Yes, if you would like to talk about that today with me and you're interested, please keep watching. So, yesterday was the Leo full moon, as most of you know. I don't know if I'm going to post this video the day after or the day after the day after. But, I don't know, I had this awakening during this time. Um, the blood moon eclipse was absolutely phenomenal, by the way. So beautiful. But, I just... During my ritual, I realized so many things that it has taken me a very, very long time to realize. And that's that letting go really, really is the first step to healing and reconnecting with yourself. It makes me think back to when I started reconnecting or aligning with my higher self. And the thing is, a lot of people really aren't even aware of the fact that, you know, there's more to life. We're living in, like, practically a simulation that people don't really try to heal from their past and they don't try to make a difference and it's really sad because it's almost like they're lost souls it's just like wasted potential if there were a way that i could make like my own sanctuary to where all broken souls could come and i could help them heal themselves and i had had all of the answers and i could just you know help people step by step align with themselves i would do that i wish i had the money to do something like that with a lot of things, honestly, truth is, it takes money. I mean, not necessarily spiritual virtues themselves, but things like sanctuaries in order to get to the ne that next step. Which is sad, because pretty much everything in this world that we need, or things that are essential to our everyday lives, necessities, etc., things like that, you know what I mean? They cost so much money. You know, some people don't even have money to feed themselves, let alone buy the newest um, crystal. There's so many people looking to connect with themselves right now um, that just don't have or feel that they don't have the tools. And the thing is, you don't need things like that. Um, we practically live on a giant tool. This earth, I mean, this earth gives off so much energy. And apart from that energy, there's nature. I mean... When I first started out, I didn't have crystals. And I started with what I had. I started with spirit. That's all you need. You need to have connection with yourself. Um, not alignment, but connection. You need to know you need to know subconsciously that you're ready and that it's time to make that step. A lot of the time we just tend to sit in our stagnant energy and continue to be stagnant. We don't try to grow from the spot we're in. You know, at one point um, I was so toxic and don't get me wrong I still have toxic traits everyone is basically on an eternal growth path we're constantly learning especially with my faith and all of that type of thing you know with my faith in general there's constant knowledge there's always more to learn you're never fully complete when it comes to knowledge. You could think you know everything, but no one knows everything. If I could have even acquired that much knowledge, I wouldn't know what to do with it. It takes that breaking point. Like, I was such a lost soul. If he introduced me to all of these things and he explained how I could basically take my hurt and my pain and turn that into something beautiful. Um, I just feel that Everyone needs that person in their lives and I want to be that person. Hopefully someone can stumble across this video and click on it and I can be that person to help them align or choose to align with themselves. I just, I was so toxic you guys. When you are broken by a person so many times, it can put you in a place, a very unhealthy place. It can put you in a place of anger, distrust, dishonesty. You practically become the person you were hurt by. I've been in relationships that have destroyed me as a person. And the thing is, aligning with your higher self has a lot to do with letting go of things that are keeping you from that growth. And in order to grow, you have to let go. If you are continuing to hold on to things that literally keep you from flourishing, I mean, you can't expect to reach a place in your life 
where you'll actually be happy and no longer be dealing with stagnant energy. I can't stress enough to get rid of the things that no longer serve you. And after the full moon, you know, first full moon of this year in my sun sign, it was it's such a synchronicity for me, you guys. Like it really gave me that extra push and that's why I wanted to make this video because I literally shed so many friendships and it's only it's not even the second month of this year and I've dropped a lot of negative dead energy that I don't need in my life. A lot of a lot of people who were just dragging me down or not reciprocating the energy that I was giving. You know, I have so much love to give. And I have toxic traits that I've been working on that you know were embedded in my mind for years it's you know it's that sort of heartbreak or that sort of brokenness that takes time to heal because you know sometimes a lot of people are really good at just moving past things i wish i had that trait but i don't it takes so much to become who you once were when you're with a person who literally destroys you to the point where you're not yourself anymore you you falter. I mean, I literally had been in a relationship that was so toxic. I literally became that person. What was even worse is that subconsciously I knew that I was like them at that time. I knew I was becoming them. I knew I was becoming everything that I didn't want to be. I missed who I was before. And so that's when I decided I want to reconnect with who I used to be. I want to heal. And I'm still not even to that point yet. I'm still not to that point to this day. And it's, I mean, I've been probably trying to heal myself for about a year now. I've made so much progress and I'm not, not I'm just not going to look over that. I'm not going to not give myself credit for that. I do still have self-induced problems, you know what I mean? I still have times where I snap on people or I'm enraged or I say things I don't mean and I do things I don't mean. We're human and I'm healing from that and you can heal from that too. You just have to want to heal. You have to know that you're not that person, you're not what they said that you were when you were with them. I mean, this this isn't all just based off of relationships and things like that. This is based off of anything. This could be a family member. You could have had a narcissistic parent that tore you to pieces, who literally, you know, just made you feel like you were nothing. Just anything. There's so many different scenarios to it, but the thing is, regardless of how you were broken, you can be fixed. You can reconnect with yourself and you can align with who you once were. It really does take a lot of energy and time and I know that it can sometimes seem that it's not worth it but you know being ourselves is the only difference that we have from everyone else. I mean in all reality we are all the same. Being ourselves and having our own personalities and having our own tastes and things like that just being our true authentic selves is all we have in this world. Always try to keep that drop of originality in there because you want to remain yourself. Coming from a broken place when you're extremely broken, it's really, really hard to get to that point where you want to grow or it's, it's hard to get to that point where you can push yourself to start making that effort. It's baby steps. And for me, it was realizing that I had become the person, the very person that hurt me, the person that had me living in fear as if I'd never be able to be happy again. I mean, that's when it all clicked. So from there, what I did is I started to not respond when they would get angry. Sometimes silence and no response is the best response. My dad used to always tell me that. The way I saw it, if I didn't respond to this person when they were upset at me or telling me I was nothing or telling me that I was worthless, I found that when I didn't, they would be the ones to get upset and enraged and angry and you know what they would do? They would jab harder at me. They would try to hit it where it hurt. Whoever it is, whether it be a person, place, thing, anything, when you're around something that is tearing you down and you switch up the tone and the way you do things, like not responding when they're treating you like trash, they notice those things. Aligning with your true self is seeing through the illusions of everyone else. Aligning with your true self is being you regardless of what anyone else has to say. And the healing process along with becoming and aligning with yourself takes so long. I could tell you right now that I'm very aligned with myself, but I still have healing to go. I still have pain. I still have things that hold me back. I still have little traits from that person that, you know, is toxic, that I didn't like that they had, but I have now. And... You know, those little bits and pieces are slowly fading. 
and I'm starting to feel even more complete than I did before. My truth to you is that in all reality, you'll never be exactly who you used to be. That's because you grow and you learn from that. You learn from everything that happened. You know, when you come from a situation where you heal yourself, that's always going to be there, but it doesn't have to be a negative memory. You know, when you get to that point where you heal yourself so much that you can literally look back at your trauma and see it as just a growing experience and something you learned from, you've healed so much. Even if it's starting today, if you're someone who's very sad and you want to align with your higher self, do it because you can you can do it it takes wanting to do it for it to work i like to add the law of attraction into aligning with myself because you what you're doing is i don't know if you've seen my law of attraction video i'm going to link it down below but what you're doing is you're living your life as if you're already healed you're living your life as if you're already happy that's what you're supposed to do and the law of attraction will eventually bring that into existence you'll start to feel happier You'll start to live happier and you'll start to actually go out and do what it is you should have been doing all along. Living, connecting with people, human connection, finding that happiness that you've been looking for. You know, when it comes to positive and negative energy, it exists, but it exists differently in everyone's worlds. You know, in my world, something that's positive in yours could be something negative to me. So when a person is telling you that you're not good enough or when a person is telling you that you're nothing, that's because in their world, negative energy is stronger than it is in your world. But you can overcome that. And looking at it from that way, if that person has a different, you know, positive and negative energy in their perspective, in their, the projection of their own reality, that tells you that what they're saying is just how they feel about themselves. They're projecting how they feel about themselves onto you. And eventually you start to believe it and you start to think that that's really true, but it's not. Look at it from my, my statement that I just made. Positivity and negativity both exist, but they exist differently in everyone's world. One person could have more negativity in their lives than you. Wouldn't that make you stop and question yourself and think, wait a minute, if, if they live through more negativity than I do, then how would what they say about me be valid? Because it's not. So with that being said, you guys, I really hope that I can speak a little bit of inspiration into someone's lives and hopefully someone watches this video and finally reaches that point to where they want to be themselves again. Because I want to be that person and not a lot of people have a person to tell them these things. So I'm hoping that someone who's broken can click onto this video and finally have that person to tell them what they've been needing to be told. Anyways, as I always say, do a good deed, spread that lunar love, and peace and love, man. <laughs>